I was brought in fairly late in the piece to deal with uh, one of their clients, which was a stockbroker in Sydney. And they flew me up Melbourne to Sydney and they just said, go into this meeting. It's a one hour meeting. We've been having problems with them for a long time, but we're not going to tell you anything about it because we don't want to uh, prejudice you or anchor you to anything. And I said, OK, that's that's fine. And I went in and it was a meeting with some fairly senior people up to including vice president level. And I said, really sorry to make you explain all of this from the start, but I've deliberately not been told anything. This is a good thing here, though. It means I don't have a dog in this fight and I have none of the past to protect. So tell me what the problem is. And it turned out that a sale had been made to them and promises made during the sale, which anyone who understood the product involved would know was not a reasonable thing to have promised, right? It's a story as old as time. Anyone yep. who sells software <laughs> runs runs into this. This is not a new thing. But they were being really difficult about it. And I finally just said to them, look, I don't know what was said to you in the sale. I wasn't part of that. I can't comment on that. But I will tell you, as someone who is expert in this technology, I don't understand how anyone who knows the technology could have said that to you. And if it was said to you, then I'm really sorry that your time has been wasted with that. You obviously know it's not true. It's not hard to see that it's not true. You can open up the manuals and read for yourself that it's not true. And I'm not going to pretend otherwise. So I'm really sorry that that's happened. Can we move forward? And all of a sudden, they uncross their arms, they lean forward. Forward, they started smiling and they said, that's all we wanted. I'm like, what? Said, we have been waiting 12 months for someone to say this to us, just to acknowledge that it wasn't realistic and to apologize for it. I'm like, huh, well, okay, that was 12 months that we all could have gotten back a little sooner, but now you've gotten that. I understand tech support are asking you for things that you're refusing to give them. Can we agree that you'll give them the things they've asked for? Yes, I suppose. And the things that you were promised, I mean, we said you could implement this without making any changes to your application. Obviously, that's not quite true, but the changes that you'd have to make are you know, A, B, C, and D. And isn't it true that each of those are actually in your interests anyway? They'll speed things up. They'll use less space. They'll you know, be better for this reason and that reason. They're all things you want anyway. And they said, yes. So, so what's the problem? I mean, we're asking you to do things that you've already agreed are valuable and that you want to do and would be in your book of work anyway. Can we just get on with it? And they're like, yeah, I suppose so. so and this had been going on for a year. 